Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to the most hyped game ever made, Airport CEO Alpha 34.6-3. It is an absolute pleasure to be back. Um, it feels good to be back as well. Um, now, let's have a look and see what we were doing. Oh, yes, we were in the middle of building our second terminal. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a new terminal, a new world out there. Um, I don't think he can build that piece of wall because the stairs are in the way. I, I believe that. It's true. So we're going to have to fix that. That's fine. Um, and we're going to put a new staircase in. Now, let's put... I'm going to put this in here now, just so it's done. But I might put some... Ah, right, okay. So what we actually need here is this to all be secure section, I think. So if we all slap secure section on all of this, like so. I hope that that covers it all. Then what we can do is we can put in some escalators. So in the last episode we started building this. Um, brand new and quite exciting um, area and really the plan was to uh, uh, make sure that these become jetways just to fast uh, just to make it faster for um, passengers to be loaded on and off our medium aircraft that was the plan um, yesterday our airport seems to be not having a great average in fact our consumables fees are still ridiculous. I'll worry about... I don't understand that, because we changed that, didn't we? In fees, not loans. Maybe it's because they're all quite high now. Um, it seems quite ridiculous that we got told off for that. Let's lower our fees slightly. Um, but it was the consumables specifically that was the problem. There we go. We'll do that and we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll be happier. Um, anyway, the point of the purpose of this was to build jetways, to allow our passengers to get on and off the aircraft faster. Um, and we've built an escalator here in the middle to service the upstairs here. And they'll be able to walk around basically and, and do all sorts of things. This is still an issue and we'll change this staircase, I think. Um, as well just in the meantime now if we go downstairs we do need to actually make all of this secure at the minute just because of where the staircase is um, but what we will do ultimately is remove that staircase so can we where are the staircases they're here so let's demolish that let's remove that and we'll replace it there for now of course it's a little bit of money but I don't mind too much um, we've completed a couple of projects, and I think this store has also done its job. Um, now, what I want to do with this store, I know it sounds a bit silly, a bit ridiculous. Just hear me out. Uh, but what we're going to do is, because we can only get small contracts at this store, I'm going to add another display fridge. I'm going to put them both there. I like that they don't have a way of getting to that display fridge. They absolutely do. Um... But yeah, the plan is to effectively maneuver it from here, um, and then and then see where we really go with it, f f really from there on in. Um, yeah. So the purpose of today's episode is to start looking at large aircraft stands, and maybe adding a few more medium ones, um, just to expand the airport slightly um, and offer us more flights for our medium. Um, uh, basically to make more money is where we're getting at here um, so the very first thing that we need to do is essentially build our jetways now I'm not sure these guys haven't finished here yet I'm confident of that and they are no available check-in desks really I don't believe that for a second there had to be. There had to be check-in desks. 
uh, to the flights connected baggage bay are occupied by other flights. Okay, that's weird. I'll have to have a look at that. Maybe, was that a large flight? Um... Was it FR-52? Was that the flight? FR-52, so it was a medium-sized flight that had an issue with check-in desks. We have six check-in desks for five planes. Maybe we need more. Mm. Well, we're going to put them over here anyway, so I don't really care. Um, are these guys, what are they doing? Are they building this bit at the minute? They managed to get this bit done. This is still all unfinished, so they need to finish this off over here which they shouldn't have any issue doing, um, but for some reason they're finishing off this side of the new terminal size, or new terminal. Um, we will move where that staircase is, don't worry about that. And then what we, we can actually start changing these. So this one here, we're going to upgrade to a jetway. Now we can't be made while the stand is handling a flight. So, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to close. I think we're going to close. Oh, look how busy they all are. This is the problem. Uh, we're going to make a flight cancellation for the not the remote stand. Is it which one ends this one? MA twenty three. So let's go like so. So MA twenty three. That flight there, that Nordic flight. Look how, why, this is a question. Oh, they get longer because they're in a remote stand. Um, NO, that, we're going to cancel this flight. Cancel this flight, it will include a penalty and reduce airline satisfaction. Oh. Oh, because it was so soon. Oh, darn it. Can we cancel this flight? We are going to cancel this flight. There we go, excellent. We're going to cancel this flight. Excellent. Can we cancel this one? No, we'll get a penalty, so we don't want to do that. We'll cancel this flight. And I think we can cancel this flight. So now if we go to Tuesday, we can cancel this flight. Excellent. And now we should have a bit more space. Uh, turn off the auto planner a minute. And then we will have space to do work on those stands little bit later on. Not quite yet, we can't do anything yet, but after they've done we'll be able to build the jetways. Um, what we need to do is check our... look at that, so we can do de-icing, oh my word. Look at this, we've nearly done all the research in the game. How about that? That's some good effort. Uh, there we go, maintenance. Oh, look at this. One, two, three, one, two, three, and what that allows us to do is put more on actually doing work. We can actually, I love that we can have three different types of research now. So there we go, they've nearly finished building the upstairs way, which is good news. It means now that we can start putting in some more stands. So we are going to chuck some medium sized stands down. Um, we're going to chuck some concrete ones down. Yep, page down, lovely. So these are actually worth quite a lot of money. We could do something funky here. We could go... No, we don't want to do anything funky yet. We don't want to get tricked into this. So this is all going to be all corridors. So we want... I think we want... Maybe one here. One here. And one here. There we go. So £300,000. Then what we want to do is we're going to build ourselves a more service road. We're going to do some concrete here. I'm going to change this to concrete as well. That to concrete and that to concrete because it's better It's better efficiency. Oh, great job. Look at this. What an efficient job. There we go. So, excellent stuff. So, they're going to get on with building this now, which is good news. Um, and we're going to immediately build them with jetways. So we're going to have no issues there. Do you need to keep an eye on the time because we're going to want to start jetwaying these four up. This one will never have a jetway, but that's okay. 
and then we can start thinking about decorating our upstairs as well which is good and we'll put a couple of coffee shops and stuff like that so immediately what we're going to do is build a jetway there like so what's that connected to is it the check-in desk or oh, security okay no worries uh, this one here, we're going to stand upgrades, build a jetway, because we can. Missing taxi path to runway, yeah, that's fine. And then again, stand upgrades, build a jetway. So now these guys can all access our wonderful aircrafts from here. What we're going to do is we're going to get some... I hope this works anyway. I've never done this before. We're going to concrete this up, actually, believe it or not. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, because we're building on the wrong floor. That'll help. We are going to concrete some of this up now. Because concrete is a bit more... It is a bit more... Oh, it is much better, actually. Um then tarmac it is it's just better it, it lasts longer it's a bit more it's a bit more wonderful um i'm glad everything seems to be flowing in the airport which is quite nice uh, it's turning to night time now which means our flights we're starting to come to the end of some of our flights so we can build our taxiways again uh which is good news there's a queue is there a queue here what are people queuing up for it just seems like they're queuing here. We could possibly do another exit over here as well. Um, we can have a look at that later. But on the whole, the airport's running very, very well. Um, excellent. And now they've finished that, we can build, put in our taxiways. And these stands can start being used. Now, uh, we were going to do something here. Um, and it's going to be quite interesting to see how it pans out but let's see how it does so what we want is i'm going to build another road here it's going to be a service road it's going to look like a waste but it isn't trust me um i hope not anyway uh so we're going to build the service road yes you got this this is going to be stunning um I don't know why we're going to do it this way, but we're going to do it this way, because I want to see what happens. But we're going to do a road tunnel. Oh, just over stretches, doesn't it? That's a shame. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we'll do it a different way. We're going to get this road, and it's going to come along here. It's going to come... I think to here, maybe? I think maybe to here I think we can go to here oh it's a lovely idea I've got an idea so we're gonna go to here then what we're going to do is we're going to build another part of the terminal and this terminal part is gonna go all here and all along here like so made a bit of a mistake there don't worry about that too much we can destroy the wall on the inside like so like so oh, I've actually made a mistake uh, we want to go terminal demolish that we don't need that we need this wall here get rid of that like so and get rid of this like so then what we want to do because that's the downstairs. We will, we do, we will want to build on top as well. So, oh, actually, we'll, yeah, we will want to build on top. Because um, again, we can still utilize this as we can still have um, more medium runway space here. So we're going to build that there like so. We're going to build this there like so. That there like so, and that there like so. Made a mistake, put that wall in. Get rid of this wall for now. Get rid of this wall for now. 
there is a plan in place here. So, the idea here, there is an idea, believe it or not, the idea here is effectively to get another baggage area. Small door. Let's put it in there. Lovely. Um, is to put another baggage area in here. But I don't... I'm not going to have the people be able to come and use it. That's the plan. We have fought this through, sort of. Uh, what we need to do is... I think... I'm not too sure. Oh, crap. I've just 100% realised. Can we pause the game? I might have made a boo-boo here. No, that's good. So, MA-22, which I think is this one. It is. We can upgrade. Let's quickly upgrade these. Build a jetway. Can we upgrade you? Build a jetway. Oh, yes, we can. Superb. And can we do you? Stand upgrades. Build a jetway. Ah, oh, how delightful. So, we've done those three stands. We can nearly do the other one, but not quite yet. But what this will allow us to do is we can start moving some of this stuff upstairs. Oh, this is so very exciting. So I'm going to do my own design here of the wall. So... Oh, crap. I've just realised we, we're going to need you, aren't we? So I think we can put you there, which will do for now. You there, which will do for now. And you there, which will do for now. You there, you there, and you there. No, nope. you there. So we've got them in place, and then we can build our walls. Like so, I think. How long is that? Hundred and thirty pounds. A hundred and thirty pounds. Beautiful stuff. Oh, that was completely wrong. How to bottle it? Hundred and thirty pounds. And 130 pounds. Excellent stuff. Now, we're not going to fully open this yet. We're not going to be able to. But what we are able to do is start building up here our little area where people can now wait. So I'm going to grab the chairs. They're going to come up. And we can put those in place. Is that one away from the wall? One away from the wall. One away from the wall. One away from the wall. Like so. So now, I don't know where this is going to go yet. I'm not sure how it sort of sits, because this hasn't been upgraded. But we will we'll do that. Worry about that in a minute. And then what we can do is we can again grab this little template, quite like this little sofa arrangement here and do that oh my word, it looks beautiful doesn't it one there, oh look at this more luxury whilst waiting for your planes, now eventually um, it's coming to the game but eventually there'll be lounges so VIP lounges which means that our our people in the um, airport oh our people in the airport will be able to lounge um, which I suppose is good news but they'll be able to stay in a lounge and we can have these downstairs I was thinking about it because we don't need this seating arrangement anymore um, so we're going to pause the game how do we how do we pause anyone remember let's pause like that old-fashioned um, and that way then we'll be able to... Oh my god, that looks disastrous down there. We'll be able to... Um, 
uh, we'll be able to, uh, you know, have sort of VIP lounges that will stretch quite further than that, uh, which is a good thing. So they can have VIP lounges downstairs, and then when they need to catch their flight, they'll go up the escalators, basically, is how, how that's going to work. Now, we need, annoyingly, I think I need to close these stands um, before I can reopen them. These ones not too bad, because, well, it is bad, because they passengers can't access it. Well, they could. I don't necessarily want them to right now, but we need... Um, we need these connected, and right now they're they're connected, but they're connected to this, and I don't necessarily want that yet. I guess we could do it in between. So right now they are connected, and that's not overly a problem. Uh, what we could also do is make the shopping area as well at the minute, um, although it's not that busy here because we cancelled a couple of flights. So. Right now, it's looking pretty decent. This one here, we didn't actually have to cancel MA24's flights. Don't know why I did that. Um, but these now are sort of ready as soon as they get the stands in. And as soon as these check-in desks here, these these boarding desks come in, we can divert the boarding desk to this one um, so they have to come upstairs. Um, so that's good news. What we do need to do is beautify it, make it look a little bit prettier than it does. Um, and we're going to sort of change it up a little bit. I think we can go red matte um, 32 by 11. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? So 32 by 11 it was. There we go, 32 by 11. It doesn't look very good there, actually. Maybe we can go... Okay, let's... Uh, we need to change the flooring. We'll, we'll come back to it. Uh, was it 32 by 11? We'll do 32... We'll do 29 by 11. 29 by 11. Lovely stuff. 29 by 11. Lovely stuff. Oh, beautiful. We've gone with red this time. Because why not? Um, got to do that there like so. Excellent stuff. Now we can put shops here and stuff. I'm not worried about that. And we do have a staircase, so we can really run with that if we truly wanted to. Um, what we will do is put security in here. So right now, I don't know how security is looking down here. Yeah, not at all done. Um, but what we could do is just make all of this a secure section. That That's what we're going to do there. Because um, we are going to have check-in desks here. Quite a lot of check-in desks here, this is going to be a very big terminal, so um, yeah, we're going to have some checking desks, is how that's going to roll, um, and they're going to go and filter straight in to our new baggage handling for the stands that are going to go across here. We could have another one here, hypothetically. We could, um, quite easily, if I rearrange the staircase and stuff. Uh, in fact, I don't see an issue with that at all. We could, we could definitely make that work. In fact, what we probably want is just all this to be secure as well, for now. That's beautiful. Um, all of this will be secure. All of this will be secure. All of this will be secure. And all of this will be secure. There we go. Excellent stuff. Oh, how things are beginning to take shape. Um, we still need them to build a lot, and they haven't gone around to doing everything that we want them to yet. But it is looking pretty promising um, that we now have this. So we're going to actually see our first flight. Uh, we're going to see how this works. I hope it does work. Um, oh, actually, there we go. So they're getting off the jetway and they're going straight down the escalator. So the escalator seems to be working fine. This one's doing it as well. Um, ideally, we'll probably have another escalator heading downstairs here um, just to free up these a little bit. Can we turn that? Oh god. I want the escalator. Where's the escalator gone? I guess we could just do this. I don't know why we're not. Um, so it's four... Uh, yeah, it's unfortunately a bit wonky. Um, but it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, we'll put it there for now. I may re-look at that, but yeah. Looks pretty good. Now what we need to do is just again beautify the rest of this 
Uh, we can use marble. Let's use marble. Make it look pretty. We can put a little coffee shop on the end there. Don't mind that at all. Oh, look at all these flights coming in and using them. So deboarding now is really quick. Yeah, we don't have any real issues. Lovely stuff. Look at this. Oh, look at that. How beautiful. We could get another one in there. Not going to get around to that right now, but we could we could look at that in a bit. But look at this. Absolutely looks perfect. Um, oh, they're starting to build the check-in desks. This is good news. So this boarding desk now links up to that. Oh, wonderful. I didn't even have to do anything for that. Um, that's good news, because that means this could technically be opened. Um, but we're not going to do that yet. We're not going to stress out our superstar teams right now. But everything's looking good. It's beginning to take shape quite nicely, the airport. And we're starting to use our jetways, uh, which is the most important thing in the game. We do have belt loaders. I do need to park these belt loaders. Um, I don't know how... Apparently you can assign belt loaders to stand, and they park there permanently. Um, so that's... 681 was it? That's not it. 681. Oh, we've done these as well. Go on, finish them off. Lovely stuff. Get six on that. You come off, you come off. <laughs> 681, wasn't it? 681. So go vehicles, belt loaders, and we can assign them to a stand. Oh, where's 681? Belt loaders only work clearly on medium stands. 681, we're going to assign you to... Was it? Oh, I don't even know which one it was. MA23. Uh, so you go to MA23. And then we'll just assign the other ones to different stands. Don't really care which one's which. Uh, MA21, 22, 23, we, 24. And then we need to get two more, I think. We need to get two, three more belt loaders. Um, how do we do that? There, there. Um, that's is that the small belt loader truck? I think it is because then they have a massive one, which is along here somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, there's the big belt loader truck. So three more of these, please. Thank you. And. We're going to need some, uh, I think, three more of pushback trucks. We don't need any more stair trucks. If anything, we can sell a couple of them, because we really don't need them. Um, but what we might want to get is a couple of... It's a shame you can't... Oh, we can. There's still... There's service with it, and then there's trailers. I don't understand the difference. We do want some baggage trucks though, that's quite important. So we'll order three more of those, why not? That's a job done then, isn't it? I suppose. I suppose. So these flights uh, seem to have serviced, serviced these ones quite nicely. What we do need to do though, um, this is currently connected to Astana, which is good. So is this one. Uh, we don't need two of them now connected. Um, people are starting to wait upstairs, in fact it looked like someone was boarding. I don't think that's how the game works. Um, but that's fine now, I think. So this actual one here, we can clear. Oh. Oh, we can't. Can we not destroy that, though? Because we're not using that one anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, crap. Yeah, because they're not using the downstairs one. They're still using the upstairs one. Okay, I think we actually close the stand when it's assigned aircraft. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, we'll have to figure something out in a second because um, we, we need to get rid of the downstairs parts there. Um... 
This one, however, is looking a bit more fruitful. Um, so as we can see now, we have got those three in place. So what we can start doing is um, looking at sorting out our baggage ba uh, bag handling, etc. Um, here. So let's get in our baggage bay. It's not going to be permanently in yet, but I figure we could put it here. So we need to destroy from 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 blocks from the fifth block down. So let's go that, let's go walls, fifth block down, and it was 4, 4, 4, and 4. And then we can get our bay in there. And they should destroy that pretty quickly. They haven't got much more work to do. We've sort of... We've sort of trumped them, really. Everything seems to have gone in place quite nicely. Um, which is good news. What we can also start thinking about now is bringing in our check-in desks and plants combo. Which we quite like. And we can put these um, actually about here, I think. One, two lots, and three lots. It seems a bit excessive, but trust me, it, it is blooming needed. Um, and then what we can do is security. We can have some medium-based security sections. Um, and we can start putting these in place. and I can't build queues for them yet, but everything is beginning to take a bit of shape now. Uh, we'll start with four and then we can always expand that. Um, no, we can't delay a flight. Not really, not ideally. So look at this. We've got over a thousand passengers now we're handling, 144 staff, 145 baggages, and 11 aircraft at our airport at any given time. Oh wow, look at this. How blooming brilliant is this? It's beginning to take an awful lot of shape, our world, um, and I'm very, very pleased for it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to cramp this up a little bit more um, than we usually do. So I want these security bays to have decent queues. There we go, lovely stuff. This one could do the same all the way down there, like so. This one could do the same, all the way down there, like so, and this one could do the same, all the way down there, like so. Oh, what a wonderful job. Now what we can do is we can build this wall, um, which can go pretty much along this whole check-in line here, um, up to about there, and come down for now, just for now. Um, just gives us a bit more freedom, a bit more beauty um, in our wonderful sized airport. And then what we'll also do, just for now, is build a humongous wall um, down here and down here, I suppose. This will all be security eventually. Then what we want to do is we need, um, we, we need another area for baggage claim, so that can again come all the way along here. And then this here, oh crap, this all here can be secure. We can get rid of, I think four is it? Two lots of four, make that secure. Very important that we do that. And then have security exits points, one and two. And this will actually be separated from the main check-in desk area. Uh, which is absolutely grand. Um, they will have to go this way, I think. Trust me, I'm doing something something here. And then what we can do is have um, large exits here and here. Is the plan. Is the, is the plan. Um, what we then want to do is put in some sidewalk, which is here. They've got big jobs now, these guys. And all this sidewalk can come along here like so. Absolutely wonderful. Um, and we do need, actually, a crossing here. Um, 
So we can have a bit of a gap. So we're, we're going to change some of this up anyway. So if we put in a row, again, there'll be not much road here. A five gap there. A five gap. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, I don't know. Four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can put a road in there, that's fine. So, what this means is we can then do small crossings. And we can put a small crossing there. Small crossing. Doesn't really matter where they go too much. What matters is they've got a nice link to the airport exits and stuff over here. Because um, this is going to be where they'll have connections to other roads. What we'll need to do get some more asphalt in, don't mind that at all. That can come up here. We're going to one way it so it's only accessible that way. We can put that there, make sure that goes there and that goes there and that goes there. And then we can put in we're going to do some big car parks here as well. So Let's go. Not always the best, but public parking lots. Here we go. So these are our first major public parking lots, uh, which are lovely. So let's get. We could probably get a couple in here. one two and three and then we're going to build another road that's going to come in down here like this along here like this and down here like this and it's going to be a one-way road that way and a one-way road that way don't really mind how that all works but it seems to work quite nicely going into the end there. That looks good, doesn't it? I think we're all okay. I think we've sort of nailed our road system here. Um, but these guys now are sort of singing. Are security actually there? Why are they there? There's no reason for them to be there whatsoever at the minute. That's hilarious. You don't actually need to be there. Can someone tell them they don't need to be there? I don't know how we do that. <laughs> can we close it? I suppose we can close it. There we go. These are not open. Um, that, that makes life a little bit easier. Let's... <laughs> they don't need to be there. Um, let's get uh, another couple of large doors, because that's going to go straight through to security. If if they want to go out uh, there, maybe. It's not built very well, actually, is it? I've just decided. But, oh well. This is, this is how it's going to be, I suppose. Um, let's get some down conveyor belts. Might as well start putting some of this in place. So I think the fair majority of these go downstairs. The fair majority of these will be picked up. Um, and what we can do is put them now on... God, high-speed conveyor belt systems are well expensive. We've actually spent an awful lot of money, so we probably need to keep an eye on it. Um, so if we just, just do that for now. Um, we haven't even put in our... our new system. Let's do that. And then what we can do is build a service road along there and along there. Wonderful. So we've started to put things in place for our new sort of semi-interesting 
terminal here. It's already got as many check-in desks as our current one, um, which is good news. This is now seems to be working quite well. Again, there seems to be a queue here. I'm not quite sure. Oh my goodness. Is it for the shop? I think it's genuinely for the Swift Fed shop. All these shops are closed. Oh my word. Well, that's closed because staff are en route, but the other shops are shut. Burger King, come in. I was meant to put that in ages ago. That's why they're all going to that one shop. Whoopsie daisy. And let's put a co op in. There we go. A co op and a traveller shop, 7 Eleven, a Burger King, and a Swift Veg. Thank goodness. That's why they're all sort of hanging around. How, how poor. Um, I have 100% realised we haven't got flights in here. Um, we need to make sure, actually, that these stands are closed for a minute. I don't want them open. I don't want them stressing out anybody unnecessarily. And what we actually need to do is go back to our flight control and put Auto Planner back on. Because we will stop auto, you know, we will start running out of flights. So they can put Auto Planner back on now and they crack on with their jobs. Um, because we want to still make sure we're making money. We don't want to lose too much. Because we've spent an awful lot of money on security and, and new building and, and new conveyor belt systems. And yes, we need to make sure we are we are spending our money a bit wisely. We have to, uh, really. Um, so this is all going the right way at the minute. Let's push that all the way across in here, I suppose. Um, and then I guess what we can do is escalator this up. Uh, this here is where it'll exit, so that can go straight there and go escalator down. Down it goes and pretty much off the mark can go down here and it will end up coming in I think did we want it in this area we did there we go I think it wasn't here wasn't it maybe I'm not too sure can't quite see maybe we wanted it to come into here slightly yeah, I think I'm right. We wanted it here. And then escalator up. And this is going to be where people collect their shiz. It's not in the perfect place, but I don't mind too much. Uh, we're going to get a couple of large doors in here. There and there and there. And a couple of large windows. Uh, we can put large windows there. Oh, look at this. How wonderful. <coughs> so it means when you exit, you can still go, you know, you can walk straight in here to your baggage claim area. Very, very important. Um, so they're building that now, which is good news. Um, so that whole conveyor belt system is done for the exit. What we have to do, though, for this section is... Let's build some more conveyor belt this way. And we first need our initial baggage scanner. Now, if that goes through fine, no problem at all, it will... Hmm, how did we do it for the others? If it goes through fine, through that package scanner, then we're a cool of it going on our aeroplane, apparently. Um, <laughs> uh, which is which is good, I think. So, that's fine. If it goes through this one, it's fine. It can go on our plane. So, let's build the conveyor belt up here. Around here and straight in there like so. Right? If, however, it is unsuccessful, then it needs to go down 
a list of things. So it needs to go through the explosions. I don't think I've left myself enough space. Not a problem. Probably. We did drugs. And then firearms. If, after all of that, it is good, then lots of digging going on here. Oh my word. Let's zoom out. Um, then again, that can go up to here, up to there, and into our conveyor belt system. If, however, it fails again, which it can do, then we've got a new setup. So it'll go on this conveyor belt quite beautifully. Um, and it will go this way, and it'll see a new station. And if this is here, oh crap, okay, this here is our um, manned station. Now if the man station doesn't find anything after going through all of these, even if it has found something in any of these, then it will leave the man station and go and join our uh, and join our thing. However, if it fails in the man station after everything it's gone through, it gets destroyed. That's that's basically it. So it'll get annihilated. So what'll happen is it'll go through the normal security. Now if it goes through the normal security scanner, no problem. Off it goes onto the plane, don't care. If it fails, it'll go through then the five key systems. If it fails in any single one of those, it'll end up going through our manned security and it'll either be annihilated or let on the flight. But if it goes through all of them okay, then it'll go through and we will have no problems here on, here on in. I'm very happy with how we've done this. This has gone very well for us. <laughs> it's taken a while, but we've managed to get it sorted. Um, what we need to do is... I don't know where we go. Baggage area. Baggage claim area. And this is going to be a baggage claim area here. Brilliant. We connect this to this baggage bay because that's where this baggage bay is going to be connected. These ones here we connect to this baggage bay, connect you to this baggage bay, connect you to this baggage bay. Excellent stuff. Um, and then what we do, uh, security I'm not too worried about how they get there. Um, what matters is they get into our airport. Uh, what we will do is build this wall along here and oh, get rid of that. That down there like so. We'll get a couple of large doors here and here quite nicely. We'll get rid of this wall because we don't need that anymore. Um, and then we can, at this minute, get rid of this staircase. There's a good reason. And we're going to turn it into escalators. And I think what we can do is place... I don't know whether I want to place one there. Um, I think what I want to do is place um, there for now. So there's one alongside there. So that can go upstairs. And then they can cut through if they really wanted to. Um, and then what we can do... Because this isn't a very wide area... We can do another one here, I think. Yeah, another one here. Oh, is that unsecured area? How double dare I? Um, but yeah, on the whole, I think this looks pretty good. I think we're in a good position here. Um, they're going to build that wall now, which is fine. And I think these ones are going to be ready to open with this security area. I think we're going to need more staff, so let's get in some more security. Yeah, I'm hiring you all. Congratulations. Uh, let's get some more passenger service agents. We're going to need you. Probably going to need more than that. Let's hire all the janitors, because we've got a bigger airport now. Let's hire all the service technicians, because we've got a bigger airport now. There's no security officers. Ramp agents. Oh, definitely going to need all you. Um, and that'll do. Wow, what an episode. We got so much done in this episode. 
there's no more projects available, so we've done all that now. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It'd be nice if you could clear this, but we, we can't. Um, so I guess we've got seven available left. Um, we don't need to reduce project time anymore, which is good. Uh, we don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, what does marketing do? I don't... 5% increased passenger spending in airports. 8% staff increased. Yes. Let's do the U. And then airline relations gets better, but I can do that. High security alert. Supplier discount. Emergency prevention work. Hmm. That's quite difficult. Maybe let's go high security... And let's go supply discount. That's always useful. There we go. So now our admin team, which is all we've got left um, down here, um, that they've done all the projects, which is good news. It means our airport can be fully kitted out now. We've got this new security dude. You're not very good, actually. And your access to a toilet is the other side of the airport. <laughs> That's what we like. So yes, we have built a new side of the airport. In the next episode, I'm hoping to open it and, and have some more expansions. But the jetways seem to be working. Ideally, I wouldn't want them using these boarding desks. I'd want them to use the upstairs ones. Um, oh, this one is. Look. This one is. And they're using the downstairs one. I don't understand. We're, we're somehow trying to get rid of one of them. We'll have to close the stand. It's, it's so much palaver. But thank you very much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you want more on Airport CEO, please hit the channel and hit that notification button. And when a new video comes out at 9pm every single day, you will be notified. Thank you very much. I will catch all of you guys on the flippity flip. Bye bye.